break and continue. We're going to learn about two statements that can be used to affect the flow of control through a loop. Uh, one is called break, the other one is called continue. When you're inside a loop, and only when you're inside a loop, you can use these statements to affect how you're going through the loop. In particular, when you say break, break means end the loop right now. Continue means end this pass through the loop, but go back to the top of the loop to start the next pass. Um, with these two things in mind, let's see if we can figure out what this code is going to do. N is going to loop uh, through the range to 200. So N will be 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Uh, the first if statement, the first part of the if statement says if N mod 3 is 0, that is if N is divisible by 3, continue. Continue means to end the entire body, everything I've just highlighted right there, all of that mean it will be skipped. We'll go back to the top of the loop. So when n is, is a multiple of 3, this will do nothing. Uh, then if n is 8, uh, we break, which means we're done. We stop the loop. Even though we're going up to 200, we're not going to make it to 200 because when n is 8, we'll hit this break statement, which ends the entire loop, not just a pass. So when n is not a multiple of 3 nor 8, that is when n is 0, neither of the if or l if are true, so it'll print 0, then at 1 it'll print 1, 2 it'll print 2. Actually, I'm sorry, I misspoke because 0 is, of course, a multiple of 3. It'll skip 0, it'll print 1 and 2, skip 3, print 4 and 5, skip 6, print 7, and finally at 8 it will break. Let's see if actually that works as I said. And indeed, 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, and skipping the multiples of 3, and then when it got to 8, it, it broke. So we can see that continue does not end the loop, it just ends the pass of the loop, whereas break ends uh, the loop completely. That's break and continue. This example is quite contrived. Uh, there are cases where break uh, can make a fair amount of sense, to tell you the truth. Continue is much rarer than break, and in fact, um, you could do well to just never use continue, in fact. Um, having said that, people do use it, and you can't be mystified by its use, so you have to understand how it works, even if you avoid it generally in your own coding. Uh, let's look at actually a use of break that might make some sense. So here, we're going to uh, keep entering strings uh, until you enter in the word done. Uh, there's more than one way to do this, but one way to pull this off is to do while true, which is what we call an infinite loop. You're going to loop literally forever, because true is true. As long as true remains true, which is forever, do the body of the loop. Now, of course, we're not going to actually loop forever, because we're going to break, and that's how we're going to end this loop. In particular, we're going to get a response from the user, some input, and if they said done, we'll break out of the loop. Otherwise, we'll tell them what they entered and add another one to our count of the number of lines they entered. When we're done, we'll say how many lines they entered. Um, we can run this in uh, Brython, and Brython, how it handles input is bad because not only do you get this pop-up, well, mainly you get this pop-up, A, B, C, and D, and I say done, and that's it, that's in Brython. I could do this instead. I'll copy it, and we'll, we'll go ahead and see it in standard Python here, and now I'm going to go ahead and run this. Enter a string, A, B, and done. You enter two lines, not counting, done. So what we see again is we enter into this infinite loop right here. Infinite loop, we get a response. When the response is done, we break out of the infinite loop, which is a uh, perfectly fine use of break, uh, to break out of a loop.